Hey, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome back to Jayla Rome Presents, where we talk about facts, foolishness, and black female effery. Today's video is more of that on Kendra G. Um, we've um, we have a, a cuckoo bird sighting on um on Kendra G. Lane. All right, so this lady is saying she wants a provider, right? But when Kendra asked her, you know basically to, to define a provider i mean she goes back and forth like she doesn't know what a provider is is, is what it falls down to because in one breath she says she wants somebody to provide for her and her kid and then turns around and said she doesn't want it so you guys tell me what you think let's go ahead and get into this video <clears throat> um go ahead hit that like button subscribe share it helps the channel grow all right and let's go ahead and get into this foolishness TikTok. Um, I don't have any other platforms. Okay, so what is it on TikTok? My bad. I'm gonna keep, let me go back. Here we go. Uh, I go by Ash, and my name is not Ashley either. Do you want me to call you Ash? Yes. Okay. Ash, where are you calling me from? Um, I'm from New York, but I reside in Delaware. Delaware. How old are you? 26. 26. What do you do for a living, mama? Um, I'm in banking. Okay. Do you have any kids? I have one son. How old is your son? He's six. Six? Have you ever been married? No. I've no. been engaged. Engaged. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio. We got Ash, Delaware, 26 Scorpio, and Bacon, mom to a six year old, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Uh, I'm looking for a provider, honestly. Um, I provide for myself, and I feel like if I'm going to be with a man, I just want that weight off of me. I'm also looking for someone who could be my friend, someone who can make me laugh. Uh, just a man, like, just someone who could take over and take the masculinity out of me. I can be feminine, but I feel like I give off masculine because I am by myself. Um. First, I hate when women say that they need a man to help them get rid of their masculinity. You're masculine because that's who you are, right? You can't masculine. You have to choose to be masculine or feminine, right? You can learn to be feminine if you are masculine. You know what I'm saying? You don't need a man to to put you in your feminine energy, right? <laughs> you don't need that. You know, a lot of women. I know plenty of women who are who are feminine and you know raising kids on their own right you know what i'm saying it's all it's a mindset it's your attitude on how you approach people how you deal with people how you present yourself right so a lot of these women are not presenting themselves right they come off hard because they are you know it, it's something you have to work on internally within yourself you can't just get a man and all of a sudden you are now feminine no, that's that's not how that works. Okay. You started off with a provider. So what's your definition of a provider? Someone who's going to pay my bills. <laughs> then, Point blank period. Yeah. Now I'm going to listen. And this is another point. This is where we go off the rails. Because in the mind of these women, or let's say these so-called black women or hyenas, they assume that if you're a provider, they, they assume provider means money, right? That's all they, they, they don't think of nothing else when it comes to provider. Provider is more than money. It's not just money. Money is a part of it, yes. You do have to be able to provide an income. But 
uh, when men provide, we provide more than money. It's it's a system, order, and structure, right? We provide leadership, right? You know, it's <laughs> it's crazy how these, these these women and that lets you know their mindset. Because when they when they hear provider, the first thing coming in their mind is money. Because they've been programmed that by society to think that men just provide money and that's it. When it's much more, like I said, it's leadership, it's system, order, structure. It's you know what I mean. It's um, a law. It's, it's it's so much more, right? It's like when when men have to get up in the night because we hear or we think somebody's breaking in. It's protection, right? We provide protection as well. So it's it's it's, it's way more than money. But like I said, women all they hear when they say but when they when they hear a provider, all they think about is money. You're a man. You got to provide money. You got to provide money. It's more than that. You know, like, but like I said, when we do provide leadership or any type of system, order, and structure, they don't want to listen to it. You know, they don't want that part of, provi of, the, of the provision. They don't want that part. They want the part of provision that only deals with money, what you can do for me. How much money can I get out of you? That's what they're looking at. They're not looking at the other part. But let's get back into it. We're going to have this conversation because I know this one might be sad. You're a mom to a six-year-old, um, does the father help out? Is he, are you getting child support? Is he doing that opposed to a new man to come along to take care of you and your child? Um, he's not on child support. He helps when he can and he's not consistent, which is why we're... Oops. Sorry, that, which is why we're not together. Sorry, I don't know if you heard that last part. Yes, so no, say it again. So um, he helps when he can, but he's not consistent, so that's why we're not together meaning the co-parenting is not there so i need if i get a man i want my man to take on my son and be one with me so the baby daddy ain't around because he can't give money on a consistent basis is what she's saying so now you're holding your the, the dude's son or you're keeping the son away from the dad because he can't pay you on a consistent on a, on a consistent basis so he's not giving you money when you want it so he can't see his son. So that falls into her parental uh, alien alienation is what she's doing. Can't make this shit up, man. These women, if, if you can't pay me, you can't see your son. And then she'll go around giving her son all this bad information about her father, about, about the kid's father, making the, the child think that his dad ain't, ain't worth a damn. And have that consistency because the dad is not in with that. Like we don't, it's not like we don't talk or we can't, but he's just not that, you know, it's not okay. what I want for my son. So what would you say to the man that would say, you have a higher expectation for the next guy opposed to the one that you have for the man you had a baby with? I'm not with him. But you had a baby by him and you want a new man to take care of you and your child. So men yeah. will say this, and I know it's gonna be said, that's why I want you to respond to it. You want a new man to come along to take care of another man's child yeah. and you. I don't yes, want him do. to take, he doesn't have to take care of my child. I'm not coming in with the expectation of you to take care of my child, but we That's are a package want. deal. And the reason why So that means he's taking care of him, you bonehead. I mean, it's, it's, it's stupid. These women, so she, she thinks that she just want him there to pay the bills, but not buy her child like, you know, like a haircut or shoes or clothes or do anything she just she just want a body she want a body there that she could you know get some d from and to pay the bills she wants a utility she wants a sucker why i'm out with my child's dad is because we don't have that understanding so if a man is coming into my life we are going to have that understanding but but just for clarity you said you want the new man to pay your bills right mm -hmm. does your, your child live with you yeah so wouldn't right. that be taking care of your child if he's paying your bills? Yep. Absolutely. So you do want a man that's gonna take care of your child? Absolutely. You but said you not, didn't want to I'm not saying, okay, so I don't want to get us misconstrued. It's not a standard. You don't need the You're basic necessities for my child. You don't need to take care of. Meaning I would but never ask you and say, hey, my son needs a haircut. My Wait, son needs- though, Just not to cut you off. Basic necessities. Would you want a man to pay your rent or your mortgage? If we live together, absolutely. That's the most basic necessity for your child because they're paying for the roof Thank that you. your Somebody, child lives in. 
to each his own Kendra. Look at her. She's a fucking idiot. She, I, I'm, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but she's an idiot. This is what you get when you watch shows like this. These are the type of people that come up here, man. Flat out dumbasses. Straight stupidity. Just contradicted herself on know how many times. Any man that's worth his salt, if he takes on you and your child, he's going to provide for that child as well. He's paying the bills. He's going to take care of the child. He's like, like Kendra said, basic necessities, the, the, the mortgage or the rent, the, any, any other bills that's in that house, he's taking care of, right? Which will indeed free up you more time to probably have more money to, to buy your child this, that, and the third, but you wouldn't be able to do that if that man wasn't paying the bulk of the bills, right? And any man that worth his salt is going to want to interact with that child and do stuff for that child. Right, but y'all women kill me when y'all say y'all want a man just to do for you and pay the bills, but he ain't got to do nothing for the child. Basically, you want you want you want. That's not the type of man you want anyway. If a man signs on for that, he's not he's not gonna be the right type of dude. And this way, y'all women wind up making these mistakes and getting a bad dude, getting a bad deal, and y'all swerving down. It was the guy's fault, but you chose him. You chose that type of man. You chose the type of guy who would say, yeah, I'll come in and pay the bills and, and sleep with you and dick you down, but I ain't going to do nothing for your child. That's the dude that y'all want. That shit don't make no sense. That's a lazy bomb. Okay, we can keep going. We can keep going. I just want to know what I said. I, I'm doing it myself now, and I'm right. single. Right. And, and I'll come to a man and say, oh, pay my bills. But if you're a man and you're single and I'm a woman and I'm single, what makes you and we're together why can't you pay the same bills that i'm paying and i was doing it when i was single like i that's how i think like i don't no, know i think that's how you think and we're, we're and i want to be yeah, clear, it is how you really think. This, get... and this, that's how you think and this is how the men think i'm in my soft guy era we will no longer be pumping our own gas when we pull up to the gas station ladies hop out the passenger seat and pump the gas while we sit in the car and watch TikTok videos and we are now also requiring at least a hundred dollars to be spent on us on the first date. And if you can't afford it, you shouldn't be dating anyways. And I see all you females talking about, oh, soft guy era. You like men. If you like men, just say you like men. You want a female to take care of you. Stop yapping. It's giving broke. And this girl gonna have the nerve to ask me what I want to eat. And I said nothing. And she had the nerve to come home with food for herself and nothing for me. Even though I said I didn't want anything to eat, that didn't mean I didn't want anything to eat. Where's my food? You're supposed to be a mind reader. Now, can I get a drizzle, drizzle? Soft guy era, it's our time. And you females that's on the street, y'all need to step y'all game up because y'all are losing to these females that's in the penitentiary system. They got dudes lined up just sending them money. Matter of fact, all the friends that I got, got them a woman that's in the penitentiary system. Y'all got to step y'all game up, ladies. But uh, go on about y'all little business. <laughs> I mean, come on now. It's, it's stupid. I mean, yo, these women are stupid. That's all I got to say, man. It's Their mindsets are gone. Like I said, they want men to be a utility. Take care of me, 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 me. You know, you want a guy to come in and take care of you, pay your bills, but don't do nothing for your child. I mean, what what does that say to you? What does that say about you as a mother? Right? Give you a lot of pushback. I'm really just having a dialogue conversation, to be quite honest. I'm not a man, you're not looking for me. But what I've had heard men say is, you're correct. You're already paying your bills and you're taking care of yourself. So why is the expectation for him to do that for you? That's what the guy would say counter to what you just said. Why is it the expectation for me to be a woman and be your woman and be submissive to you and be with you? Why, why, why do I have to do that if I'm doing it on my own right now? I'm paying my own bills. I live on myself. I can sleep when I want, pee when I want, look how. So why be submissive? If you know what? I'm not even going to get into that. How I want when I want in my own place. Why is it that I have to settle and not and pay bills and be a roommate with you and still have to be that feminine person? I, I would rather be alone. So that's why I feel like that. I want my man to provide for me. But you hear what she's saying? It's all conditional is what she's saying. Everything is conditional. In order for me to be submissive and feminine, you need to come in and pay all my bills. That's the only way I'm going to do it. 
if I got to sit up here and do all this stuff by myself, I'd rather be by myself. Y'all, y'all hear the logic in that? In order for her to, if she's going to sit up and pay the bills by herself, she'd rather be by herself rather than have a man come in and help her pay at least, even if it's half, even if he pays 60, even if, even if y'all 60, 40, you know, or whatever, whatever the case may be, you're not paying the full load. You have somebody there to help you in everyday life, but, uh, but he has to pay everything in order for you to, <laughs> that's stupid. That is dumb. Fucking idiots. Me the same way I'm going to provide for him. And that's that. Okay. Okay. There, what ways are you going to provide for him? You want more children exactly. and stuff like that? I don't want any more children until I'm married. So if my man wants children and we get married, then that's when we will have a kid. If we're just dating okay. and we dating, then that's it. But we wouldn't move in with each other because I have a kid. So it's kind of like a, you know, a rocky situation. Like, Did she say they wouldn't move in together? So you want this guy to date you and pay your bills, but y'all are not moving in together? Wait a minute, let me go back. I want to get this. I think that's what she said. So if my man wants children and we get married, then that's when we will have a kid. If we're just dating and we dating, then that's it. But we wouldn't move in with each other because I have a kid. So See? it's kind of like shit? a... Y'all hear that shit? They would not move in together because she has a kid unless they get married. Okay, I, I can get that. I can understand that. But why does he have to pay all your fucking bills if y'all are not living together? So now this guy has to pay your bills, his bills, Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Y'all hear that shit? Shut up, bitch. And this is why this is why we have the soft guy era. This is why <laughs> this is why we have the passport bros. You gotta be fucking kidding me. She actually said that they're not gonna move in together because she has a kid, which I understand. I get it. If he's dating, y'all not gonna go live together. Why does he have to pay your bills then? Out of here. you know a rocky situation like i'm looking for marriage when it comes to like dating and whatever we're gonna be flames and we're gonna be flames i'm young but okay and just um, stop making me look like an elephant you guys on tiktok just for clarity then we'll move back right along so you're looking so you're this is about this is what you desire from your husband so would you expect a man to provide in the dating aspect or only when you're married um, I would say he would have to show that he can provide in the dating aspect before we even get married. Like, how would See? I know that you can even do that? Like, I wouldn't say, like, no. But what are you going to do for him? How are you going to show him that you're a wife? If he has to show you that he's a provider when y'all dating, which means he has to pay for shit, but he's not living with you. What are you going to do for, for him to, to show him that you are a wife? Since you said that, you know, you're you're masculine and you won't submit. You see the fuckery? You see the you, you see the, the 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 female fuckery, right? Yeah, you would do it before, when we're dating. Okay. Like before you get married. That's you gotta crawl before you walk, Kendra. Oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all don't fall for this bullshit. I just want you to prepare. Be prepared, because you know you're gonna be a highlight. Guys, the guys that are listening to this, do not fall for this BS. This is straight BS. Do not fall. This is what you got to look out for. <laughs> she said he has to be a provider. But in her eyes, a provider is somebody who pays for everything. But you can't come live with me because I have a child, which I do understand that. But why does this guy has have to pay for everything? If he's not living with you, if you if you're not married, I get it. If you're not married, he should not have to pay for everything. If you're dating, he should not have to pay for everything. So but these women associate provider with paying all the bills. But like I said before, a provider is more than paying for just it's just it's more than money. What a man provides the system order and structure, which she obviously won't listen to. Let's keep it moving because it, it, with her, it's conditional. And it's going to be a lot of conversation, child. <laughs> Let's keep going. We stay here for a long time. What are your deal breakers besides not being a provider? <laughs> um, Bad hygiene. Okay. Bad hygiene is definitely a deal breaker for me. Um, bad money management is definitely a deal breaker for me. 
Um, you don't have to be rich, but you definitely have to be able to manage money. Okay. Um, should you look a certain way? Mm, no. Um, you have to, again, I feel like good hygiene, you can look anyway. You could be a big guy as long as you keep a good cut or tone guy. Um, I'm really into getting more in tune to my health because I'm getting older. So I would prefer someone who's take their health serious as well or is getting into that. They could teach me some other stuff, but I'm not against you know, someone who doesn't, it's not up to standard. You can't look ugly. I'm cute. Like, yeah. But, you know, like, I'm not one of them. No. Okay. Um, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? He has to make more than me or at least as much as I make so we can oh. get somewhere. Okay, what's that minimum? Kendra, you making me put my business all on the street. Well, okay, don't give the I'm exact... Maker, I make 60 so okay. he would have to make 60 or above. And I don't think that's a lot. I think that's like, I'm, yeah, so. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Hold on. Okay, we see you. All right, girl. Oh, okay. It's juicy. Juicy that's booty. A huge bitch. The last relationship, Ash. Andrew, oh, shut up. Look, this is all right. This this chick is she worth it? Is she worth you having your own place, and then you got to sit up here and pay your bills and pay all of her bills? Is she worth it? And then she said you got to make sixty grand or more. I'm telling you right now, even if you're making sixty or seventy grand, is is. Depending on what state you live in, in this in this economy, it's gonna be damn hard, near impossible for you to pay your your bills and hers, right? You would definitely have to be making well into the hundreds, into into you know well I'm sorry, well over a hundred k. You would definitely have to make well over a hundred k, depending on your state, you know, in order to pay your bills and her bills. Cause like I said, she unless you're married, you're not living with her. But is she worth it? Sure. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Two weeks ago. Two weeks and, ago. Is that guy an option? Um, no. Why not? And then you just has and you just had sex two weeks ago. Just had sex with two weeks ago to a guy that's not even somebody you're thinking about being in a relationship with. Because he's still in his, like, error, I would say. Like, we're more friends than, I would say, looking for a relationship. Like, we knew each other for a long time. So when we chill every time, we don't do it, if that makes sense. Like, we, you know. So, no, I wouldn't. I don't. Mm -mm. Okay. That's just my little, no. Okay. So that's not an option. Um, just three flaws you have to work on. I have a smart-ass mouth. Um, I would just say my mouth. Um, you said it. I'm clingy, and I wouldn't say clingy in an annoying way, but I it is annoying. It's very annoying. I'm very clingy. Mm. Um, I be wanting my person to be my person. Like I'm very possessive. Um, okay. those are the things I would need to work on. Um, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Ash? Uh, why would a guy be lucky to be with me? I don't know. I feel like if I answer that, I'm going to be very cliche and say, like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. Like, I don't know. A guy would be lucky to be with me because I'm me. Like, Ash, I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry we're done with you, Ash. I, think I we're can done. probably, I don't know. That's That's a hard question. Okay, for you. Okay, you're 26. What's the age range you would date? I would say 28 to 40. 40. Okay. And could the guy have kids already? He has kids. He have kids. All right. He take care of them, and they not like babies, and he's out of the red zone. Okay. You know, I'm just thinking right here, and I'm sitting, and I'm. I'm learning something new every day. And I think our dialogue is the is the disconnect, I think, that we're having between men and women. Because from your stance, I actually get it. You're like, 
I'm already paying all my bills and I'm taking care of myself. So in your mind, if I'm going to be your woman, as in, I guess I'm assuming you're going to cook, clean, you know, yeah, clean my yard, take care yeah. of business. I'm going to be having sex That's with basic. you, all those things. Why would basic I shit. contribute to the bills? If I'm going to be doing all that, I'll just sit by myself. But Kendra, that's a dumbass stance to be on. And for you to sit up and say you get it, that lets you know how Kendra's mindset is. So because I'm cooking for you, because I'm cleaning, because I'm sexing you down, which you're supposed to do if you're married, you got to pay all my bills. But you're not going to be married. But you go pay my bills. Even though I'm cooking and cleaning, you're going to pay my bills. But if 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 y'all are just dating... She said it. You're not going to live with her, but you still got to pay her bills. But if y'all are married and living together and she's cooking and cleaning and sexing you. I mean, what's wrong with, with both of y'all contributing to the household? That's what I'm saying. Now, if the man is making way more than enough and he can pay for everything, fine. But still, what else are you bringing to the table other than cooking and cleaning and sex is what I'm saying. You got to bring more more than that because cooking and cleaning, you got to do that for yourself anyway, if you're by yourself. And, you know, every just because you're giving a man sex, there's no reason, it's not a, a good reason to say, oh, well, this is why you got to pay all the bills. Everybody got a pussy. Everybody got a box. I mean, come on. Really? I mean, really? So that's, that's the, and I understand that, that point of view. Then there's the man point of view, which I understand. Every female has a box. I said every person. My bad. Every female. <laughs> every woman has a vagina. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yours ain't special. Yours ain't the end all be all, is what I'm saying. I understand too. It's like, okay, the expectation is you want me to provide, and some men like you want me to provide for another man's child. And for record, I understand you're saying you're not gonna have any more kids unless you're married. It makes sense. And then you said, I need signs of you being provided before I even marry you. So, and I understand that point of view too. So I think that is the big circle of disconnect between men and women right now. One of them. Yep. Mm -hmm. One of them. All right, well, let's do it. Yep, because why should I provide for you and your child when I'm not even living in the house? You know what I'm saying? As she said, if we're dating, we're not going to be living together. So, but I still got to provide for you. I'm not, I mean, that's, that, that's a bad deal. Fellas, do not enter into that type of contract, all right? Do not. That's a bad deal all the way around. If that woman is saying, we're going to live separate, but I want you to provide for me, I want you to pay all my bills, and y'all living still living in separate houses or separate apartments or whatever, that's a bad deal. That's not a no. Do not, do not. I repeat, do not get into that type of deal. That situation is not going to end well. Not for you. For her, it might, but for you, no. You get you getting the bad. You're getting the the, the bad end of the stick on that one. Ash, for the guy that can handle your ass, how could he reach out to you? All right, I don't want to know how. He's sick. Oh yeah, I don't want to know how to get in touch with her. But you guys, <laughs> let me know what y'all think of this bullshit. You know, she's sitting up here thinking that she's the table that you're supposed to pay all her bills because, you know, she cook clean and give you sex. You're supposed to pay all her bills. That's, that's all she's worth. She's she's put her worth down to to cooking, cleaning and sex. That's it. That's all she can provide for you. But you need to pay all her bills because you're a man and you are a provider. But I guarantee you when it comes down to you providing protection, She'll take the protection in a, in a sense, but system order and structure and leadership, she's not gonna listen to it. You're gonna have to pay the bills in order for her to probably half-ass listen to what you say. Cause it's all conditioned. Like she said with her, with her baby daddy, he don't even really get to see his child because he don't really pay like she wanted to. Yeah, don't, don't don't fall for that bullshit, you guys. Um, go ahead, <laughs> drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. It's your boy Jayla Wrong with Jayla Wrong presents. Please 
like, subscribe, share. It helps the channel grow. You guys, be good to yourselves by all means. Let's be good to one another. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.